Navigating the Lingo, Immigration Policy in English Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're taking a deep dive into government and politics vocabulary. Specifically, we're going to unravel the language of public policy, focusing on the topic of immigration policy. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with key terms, expressions, and phrases used when discussing immigration policy in English. So, let's get started. Immigration policy refers to the laws and regulations set by a country to control the movement of people across its borders. It involves important terms such as immigrants, people coming into the country, emigrants, people leaving the country, and migration rate, the rate at which people come into or leave the country. It also covers the legal status of immigrants like illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants who don't have the necessary documents to reside in the country, and legal immigrants who do. Let's get familiar with some specific terms related to immigration policy. Visa, a document that allows a foreigner to enter, leave, or stay for a period in a country. Asylum seeker, a person who has left their home country as a political refugee and is seeking asylum in another. Refugee, a person who has been forced to leave their country to escape war, persecution, or natural disaster. Deportation, the act of expelling a foreigner from a country, typically on the grounds of illegal status or for having committed a crime. Naturalization, the process by which a foreign citizen becomes a citizen of another country. Border control, measures taken by a country to monitor or regulate its borders. Green card, a permit allowing a foreign national to live and work permanently in the U.S. Now, let's use some of these terms in sentences to help your understanding. The government's new immigration policy aims to attract skilled immigrants to boost the economy. The rise in illegal immigrants has sparked a debate about border control. He applied for a visa but his application was denied. The asylum seeker was granted refuge due to the ongoing war in his home country. Many refugees are looking for a safe haven. His deportation was halted after human rights activists intervened. After living in the country for five years, she started the naturalization process. He was overjoyed when he got his green card. And that wraps up our session on the government and politics vocabulary, immigration policy. I hope you found it helpful and are now comfortable using these terms in your professional or academic discussions about immigration policy. Remember, practice makes perfect. Use these terms and phrases in your conversations to cement your understanding. Until next time, keep learning, and keep practicing.